previously on Dream Team. My leg has healed, but bones aren't strong yet. God, I don't think I should risk it. You sure you understood, bro? Gaffer, this could have wrecked my career. Life's a risk, son. We pass up a great opportunity. You think I wanted to see what you were disgusted? You walk in that door, and your husband will walk on that pitch tomorrow. Nicole! You forced me. Save it for the divorce cause. Divorce? We ran out of this club five minutes, and you're already in bed with my boss. Get out. This really was an embarrassing 3-0 home defeat to Brighton and Hove Albion. A severe setback to Harchester's promotion hopes. Carl, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Dragons second loss to Brighton this season. What do you put that down to? Yeah, obviously I weren't playing the away game, mate. So I'm not changing it. That's everyone else, get in there! Stone! That means you too. To me like that for, eh? In front of the camera as well. Well, if you shut back a little bit, shut up, yeah? Hey, 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 they won. They won. Hey, we're out of playoffs now. Do I have to do the maths for you? You should know this. We're down to eight. We lose to Wigan on Tuesday and the teams around us keep on winning. We're not talking about missing out on an opportunity of automatic promotion. We'll have no chance of promotion at all. Sally and Stone, you didn't complete a single pass out there. Gaffer, I can't do anything about not passing to me. You gave Brighton that game. You dropped both of you. Now I want all of you out. Oh, fine. Fine. Gaffer, we ain't changed. It's a big club you'll find somewhere. When you start looking like this club's first team, you can start changing in here. Not you, nicely. And where's Caskey? Good. We're Sally and Stone out. I need match winners. Now you two are the key to our promotion. If you play your skins out, we might just make it. If not, we're out of it. Which means I need a much better display than you put on out there today. Well, so are you, Kesky. Nothing. You been drinking? No. Last decent chance of making it as a professional footballer, and you're squandering it on a drink. Not under me, you know. Not while I need you. I don't need this. Players on my team do not have a drink problem. I have one little nip after the game. I've got the right to have a drink. Then why are you hiding it? Every player in this changing room will be going up to the players' lounge after. Have a few beers, a tot of whiskey. Why am I different? It's none of your business what I do. It is if you're taking a little nip before the game as well. I didn't. I am your manager. I cannot afford to have you mess up like this. You will not touch a drop of alcohol from now until the end of the season. You understand? My private life is my private life. You can't tell me what to do. You're on a paper play. I think I can. Or what? Are you going to drop me like you have half this team? Fine. Go ahead. Like I give them monkeys.
So do you, do you want me to talk to him? I can take him home. Whatever. Gaffer, don't stress, yeah? You can count on me to do the business out there. I can't wait to get back. It's been hours. What happened down there? Things didn't exactly go as planned. But you still want me to talk to him? Ryan Naismith? You wanted me to work with him, make sure his head's in the right place for playing. Oh, I completely slipped my mind. Look, to be honest with you, Ryan's the least of my worries. He's raring to go. Still, better safe than sorry. Okay, just, um, you'll have to do it fast. I'll let you know how I get on. You, uh, you fancy a lift? Yeah. Yeah, let's get out of it. You, uh, you bringing Ryan back? That was the plan. Free up Carl Kasky to drop him back into a holding row. But Kasky's back on the bottom. <sighs> yeah, well, I've seen people react a lot worse when they find out that the missus has been cheating on them with someone else. Look, they've made by that, I, um, I mean... You might have a point, you know. Yeah? How can Kasky get his head round things when he hasn't sorted it out with Nicole? No, 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 no. Viv, Viv, Viv. Mate, listen, you can't. I have to get him talking. This isn't me and Shanice. I mean, you can't just go round there turning up, cooking him a meal. It worked, though. You're not complaining, are you? I'm just waiting for the wedding invite. <sighs> All right, steady. But Viv, mate, seriously, I suggest you leave it alone. I mean, other people's love lives will... It's none of your business. Everything's a manager's business. Anna? Oh, Dad, please don't. Look, I've just had it in my own way. I don't need it from my own daughter, too, okay? <sighs> you and Naismith are as bad as each other. Ryan Naismith. I'll get you some food. I don't need any food. Had Michelle round. Watched the game on telly. She thought you looked great. You played really well. <laughs> Sweetheart. You don't have to pretend. You could play really well though, Dad. I could see that. If you just stopped all this. The club rates you. You could really make it this time. The manager knows I'm drinking. They won't keep me now. Hello? It's Viv Wright. It's Carl there. It's Viv Wright for you. Gaffer. Carl, you free tonight? Yeah, of course. Come round for a meeting. I think we need to talk. Yes. Right. I'll see you then. Dad? He wants me to go over for a meeting. You don't think? Right, let's get you sorted out. You've got to make a good impression. I'll make the coffee. Your suit's at the back of the door. Get yourself cleaned up. Dad? Mouthwash, yeah? Hang on. Come in. Hi. Ryan. Do you mind if I come in? Yeah, sure. Uh, Naomi, right? Uh, Viv's psychologist. Hi. Always a pleasure. But I'm not Viv's psychologist tonight. He's asked me to freelance for the club. You're my first Harchester United client. Uh, well, I don't reckon I need it, but... Who's going to complain about spending lots of time with you? Working. Helping players back from injury is my speciality. Viv wants you back on that pitch for Tuesday night, so if we could start work? Uh, sooner the better. Sooner the better. Um, what sort of things do you want us to get down to? I've got some tapes. We're going to be looking at tackles. 
Making sure that you're mentally prepared for the fear of your own injury. Is that all right with you? Uh, yeah, um, just wondering where the best place to do it is. Um, maybe we should go up to my room. We can use the TV down here. Uh, Curtis will be back any time and I couldn't possibly disturb him. Fine. Let's go up then. Ryan, I need you to look at the screen. Why? I get a much better view this way. I know why you're doing this, Ryan. Fine. I'll watch it. No problem. This exercise is all about exposing you to the scenario, helping you prepare for it mentally. You have to watch it, I can't help you. <laughs> I don't need your help. You're the player. You're approaching the opposition midfielder going in for tackle, but you know you can come through it. You don't pull out early. Ryan, imagine yourself coming through. Oh. Oh. This is a waste of time. Talk to me about your fear. Whoa, I'm not afraid. It's perfectly normal. You've had a very bad experience. Your body learns to protect itself. You have to retrain the mind to overcome all that. I don't need this. So if you don't mind, I'd like you to leave. Okay. Let's call it a night. We can work some more in the morning. Whatever. You know your way out here. Gaffer? Viv! Glad you can make it. Are you closed up? Just for the night. Thought you could do with a bit of peace and quiet. Yeah, um, I'm glad you invited me. After this afternoon, uh, I wanted to sort a few things out. Yeah. I thought you needed to as well. Mr. Wright? <laughs> Is this some kind of joke? Down here, Nicole. I'll leave you to it. To what? I've got nothing to say to you. But we're here now. Carl? Can't we at least talk? Wait, Gaffer! I can't get out! Viv? Unlock the door! Talk to her! I've got nothing to say, but now unlock this door! You want to get out of there? You better start talking. Locked. He's not going to have left one open, is he? I don't even want to hear your voice. You can't cut me out of your life forever, Carl. No. He shut us in here so we could work things out. Shouldn't we at least try? Work what out? <laughs> you slept with my manager. End of conversation. You know why I did that. Why can't you understand? Oh, I understand everything. I miss you. I miss Savannah. You stay away from my daughter. And you stay away from me. She's 16 years old. She can make her own decisions. Carl, I've been a part of your life for four years. We love each other. How can you throw that away so easily? <laughs> you were the one that threw it away. You think I could ever touch you again? I can't see past the images in my head. You and Dumbarker at it. I don't like that. I feel sick just looking at you. Carl? It wasn't like that. It wasn't how it was. Hear me out. Carl! Open the door! Please! Oh God, this is so stupid!
hated it. Every single second of it. You can't be more disgusted with me than I am with myself. You gotta talk to me, Carl, please. Have you two made up yet? Carl? Nicole? You all right? Where is he? He's in there. He's jammed something against the door. He wouldn't even look at me, let alone talk. Carl. Open it up, mate. Kasky! You said yourself, you wanted a chance to talk. I wanted it so badly. I should have known. When you locked us in. God, the way you looked at me. I should have never have come. How'd it go today? What did yours want? He, he wants me back on the pitch. Um, he's got me down for the Wigan game Tuesday. He wants me to run in the way. That's great, man. Isn't it? I mean, your injury's okay, right? Um, my leg's fine, yeah. Um... Look, it's always tough coming back from time out. And I know what it feels like when you're not sure you can pull it off, but once you're out there, you know how the adrenaline takes over. Yeah. It's just... Well... He's got that Naomi woman working with me. But that's a good thing, right? No. I mean... All it's doing is... make me think about what happened. And... I just can't think about it. So work with her. Get yourself better. She's there to help you, man. You wanna get a coffee? No, thanks. Well, probably just as well. Don't want anything disturbing your beauty sleep, right? No. Come on, Come on, Come on, no show. Get Gina onto it. Tell her to go around to his house if she has to. He knows we've got a match tomorrow. Oh, what? So, so you dropped me? Cole Kasky don't even bother to show up and, and you're sending a pretty little girl around to his house to ask him nicely. You done? Right, lads, let's get going. We've got a match to prepare for. Lola, you're in goal. Don't tell me. More videos. I'm just watching for today. Meg Smith. We're working on formation for tomorrow, before then. Frank! The tackling ban on Ryan's off. His leg's fine. Don't go easy on him, yeah? They won't tomorrow. Push it up, lad! Don't go easy on him, Stone! You're going to be dropping him too, are you, Gaffer?
you walked out of training. I can't have that. I need you playing tomorrow. I am training. You're running away. Jim works safe, unthreatening. No one's going to hurt you here because no one's going to have contact with you here. Did he pay you to come up with that stuff? It's a contact sport, Ryan. Either you let us help you deal with that or you don't. If you won't, then you'll have to tell me now. Because I'll have to take you off my team sheet for tomorrow. Fine, then take me off. Sorry? <laughs> take me off it! Drop me! I can't do it. I'm not taking that as an answer, Nate Smith. I want you at training and I want you at the hotel tonight. We can get you through this! Exactly what did you do to my dad last night? Sorry? You called him in. What did you say? Did you drop him? Who? Gasky? It's none of your business. Yeah, it is my business. I'm the one that has to live with him. You're Carl Gasky's daughter. Fine. Well, I'm his manager. Now I have to get him out on that pitch, and I'll do whatever I have to to make that happen. You're waiting on the pitch, and Ryan's still a no-show. Yeah. A great job you're doing. He went out last night to see you, and he was ready to make an effort. He came back, and now he's passed out on the sofa. You've made him worse. You know what? Babysitting a grown man isn't what I should be doing. If he can't be professional, he shouldn't have got into the business in the first place. Where do you get off? Are you so perfect? You're only a manager. You're not God. Maybe you should try remembering that next time. Scott, start training. Tell him I'm on my way. Get Ryan Naismith on the phone now. Oh! Watch it! I'm sorry, I just didn't see you. I can see you there. Couldn't miss you, though. Excuse me. Oh, whoa, whoa. what's the rush, Cinderella? I just need to go. Hey, look, I'm just leaving. Um, hey, you look upset. Why don't you let me give you a lift? Unless you have a car. Probably just as well. You drive anything like you walk. I can drop you home. I don't want to go home. Okay, then let me take you out for a drink. Whatever's bothering you, you know, we can talk about it. It's fine, honestly. I'm not letting you wander around town in that state. Someone needs to be looking after you. Go on, get in the car. Feeling better, Savannah? Your necklace. <laughs> Why are you looking so free? You didn't want me to know your name. Hmm? No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> so, what brought you to the lair? Hmm? Who upset you? Just want to get my hands on him. You said it was a him. Oh, come on. I know a girl who's had a tiff with a boyfriend when I see one. I don't have a boyfriend. Mr. Naismith, club's on the phone. They were asking if we've seen you. I can leave. Hi, Are They hustling you. Oh, something like that. Um, they want me back on the pitch. And you don't want to be? Nope. Well, yeah. There's nothing I want more, but. You know, I've been dying to get out there and play. I ain't had a pro game since the end of last season. <laughs> Would you believe... I'm scared. Only idiots aren't scared. <sighs> then I was an idiot before. You know, I just went out there, didn't think about it. I played every game like my legs were unbreakable, whereas now... Every tackle's like it could happen again. And you can't risk that because... that would be the end. How did you know? Thing is, if you don't try, 
It's still the end, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it is. Gasky, get up. Gaffer, hazards of living in a clubhouse. You didn't come into training this morning, and you missed your afternoon session too. So, I'm here to apologize. don't understand. No, I don't think I did. See, I've been treating you like you're a problem that has to be solved. Like a sum that if you add it correctly, you'll get the right answer. I've forgotten how it is. <laughs> Making you see your wife, that was stupid. Yes, it was. I just hoped. I don't know why I hoped. It doesn't work like that. Aren't you angry? Aren't you livid that the man who took your wife, that ended your relationship, is now taking your career as well? He's not even here and he's taking it. He might as well be putting the bottle in your hand. Don't you get it? You sit there and drink. He's won. He's beaten you as a man and as a player. He's already three points above us and he's laughing. Maybe he is. So, what do I do about it? <laughs> you want another? I'm worried. Look, if you want to go, I can drop you home. No. You never did tell me what was wrong before, you know, why you were crying. Oh, it doesn't matter. It looked like it mattered. Come on, I feel bad. I made you listen to all my hassles, you know, at least I can do is listen to yours, you know, I make it up to you. No. Okay, well, what do you want to talk about, Cinderella? I don't really want to talk. Okay, um, well then... I guess I better drop you off home or wherever you want to go. How about you drop me at yours? It's this way. Um, are you sure about this? Absolutely. How you feeling? Better? Hello? Carl, it's Nicole. Please don't hang up. It's about Savannah. What about her? We arranged to meet up two hours ago and she hasn't shown up. She's not answering her phone. Is she with you? No. No, she's not with me. Carl? Carl, are you there? What's wrong, mate? Savannah, my daughter. It's Nicole, they were supposed to meet, but Savannah didn't show up. I haven't seen her since last night. I've got no idea where she is. Well, she was at the club earlier. What? Why? She came to see me. She was angry at the state you are in last night. She held me responsible. How long ago was this? About four or five hours ago. Nicole? This is all my fault. Nicole, you're still there. Where are you? And where were you supposed to meet? Listen, I'm outside. I was worried, and I didn't want to come and knock. I knew you wouldn't want me in the house, so, um... Carl, if she's missing, please. All right, come in. Have you any idea 
idea where she might have gone? Is there anything I can do? Probably not right now, but thank you. I'll be off then, Bert. If you need any help or I hear anything, I'll be on the other end of the phone. When was the last time you saw her? I think she was here for breakfast. Um, stuff was moved. I don't know. I was still... Uh, Out of it? Asleep. Yeah. Most of her friends are on there. You start oh. calling. I'll go and look in her room, see if I can find anything that tells us where she might be. where the bone came out. In and out of the hospital for four months. Six operations and nine months of physio later, I learned to walk again. Then I had complications. This fat embolism, a bit like a blood clot. I reckon I might have died. But you didn't. But I nearly did. Because of one moment on a football pitch. Another moment and I'll be right back there. Don't play. You don't have to, not tomorrow or the rest of the season. If you don't want to. If you wanted to go out there, then it's worth the risk. But if you don't... What the... It's mine. Matt, you must be dying. I put it on silent. Sixteen missed calls. I've got to go. Hang on, you can't just go. Come on, stay with me. I can't. Right, right. Well, at least let me drive you home. It's okay, honestly. I'll get a cab. Anything? No. I rang the hospitals. That's fine. And uh, I spoke to the police. They said they can't do anything for 24 hours. Because she's over 16. So what are we supposed to do? Well, I've got the numbers of three national papers and um, if she's not back by morning then, she's a footballer's missing daughter, so it's going to be a big story. If she's not back? No, but she will be. But just in case. Um, I didn't see any pictures of her about. When the house was repossessed, stuff just went. I've got this. You carry this with you? Of course. Okay, well, um, you'd better get onto that first thing. Give them any information they need, and I'll. What? No. Naismith! Naismith! Savannah, what the hell do you think you're doing? We'll be going out of our minds! You know, Kasky. Next week, get your hands off my Dad! door! Get in the house, Anna. You little. She's 16, do you hear me? 16! Can't, I didn't know. Don't you ever, ever touch my daughter again. <laughs> get out of here, Kasky, move! Just sit there, all right? I'll call the club. I'll get them to send a night call doc and the physio over. Unless you think you need an ambulance. Or I can just take you straight to casualty. 
It's fun. <laughs> what was he thinking? I mean, you're supposed to have a game tomorrow. He could have rebroken your leg. <laughs> it's just a knock. <laughs> and I was thinking about just stopping playing, just, <laughs> just giving up. And it's all right. It's just a knock. Savannah, get down here now! Leave her, Carl. What? She's been out all night with, with that... What am I supposed to do? Smile and welcome him into our home. God knows what they were doing. They've been doing exactly what I bet you were at her age. I know I was. She's 16 years old, Carl. She's gonna have boyfriends. You can't choose them for her. Oh, yeah. Because you're really the right person to take moral guidance from. You know what? I could say the same about you. But I don't look at you and see an alcoholic gambler who's lost his money, his house, his job, and is fast on the way to losing another. You have to forgive people, Carl. Understand. Don't you get that? No. I don't get that. You lost your first wife. You lost me. Do you want to lose your daughter as well? Because all you're doing right now is driving her away, just like you've driven everybody else. Hang on, I'm not like that. No, I'm leaving. If he's being like this, I'm leaving. I'll stay at my mum's. Or Ryan's, if you'll let me know. Listen. I'll give you a lift to your mum's, okay? I'll sort things out. Don't worry. Okay, is that everything? Yeah. All right, come on. Did you hurt him, Dad? Did you hurt him? No. I don't know. Savannah, wait! Anna. Nicole, I'm sorry. Wait! I'll take it to Katie's. She'll calm down. Will she? You still playing tomorrow? I'll bring her to the match. If I can persuade her. Maybe you can talk to her afterwards. Good luck for tomorrow, then. How Chester United face promotion contenders Wigan at home this evening in a vital six-pointer. Well, Sunday's games have left the table looking like this. After losing to Brighton, a win tonight would boost Harchester's chances of a place in the playoffs, but a loss could see them lose touch with the leading pack. Well, without influential defender Frank Stone and midfield workhorse Danny Sullivan, how will Harchester cope this evening? Is Ryan going to make the team sheet? What did the physio say anyway? He's been given the old clear on his leg, but after the way it's been, I don't know if I should put him on that pitch. Mm. Gaffer. What did you think you were playing at? I didn't realise. Um... I thought I couldn't play. But I'm alright now, boss. I can do a job for this team. Well, you could have. If you hadn't made a rift right through my midfield. Tell Kasky you won't see her again, Ryan. I'm not having this team more divided than it already is. Gaffer, I'm sorry, but... You have no right to tell me who I see and who I don't see. You don't choose who you fall for. This girl means something to you. She could, yeah. Scott, tell the ref of the team sheet in 15. Kasky and Naismith have got some issues to work through. Go find him. By the time you get down to that dressing room, I don't want any more problems between you. Gaffer sent me to talk to you. I was trying to 
to break my leg for real. I want to. It wasn't what you think. You know, I wasn't trying to take advantage. She's 16. You're five years older. So how's that not taking advantage? I didn't know. That's an excuse. I like her. You know, she... She acts more 21 than any 21-year-old I know, you know? She's smart, she's... She's ballsy. She... She understands things that most girls her age wouldn't have a clue about. You know, I was going to pieces about playing again. She really helped me. And that's supposed to make me feel better? She's going to see people. And... <laughs> I don't think I was the first. I don't want to know the details. <laughs> like, isn't it better she sees someone like me? You'll know where she is. You know, you know she's going to be taken care of. I mean, I wouldn't dare after last night. You're still five years older. You'd probably end up dumping her or, or breaking her up. Or she could dump me. You know, there's no guarantees, are there? For anybody. But... I want this to work. Really. So does she. Archester are three points off the promotion playoff places. A vital match here against Wigan Athletic, which sees a return after almost a year out with a broken leg for Ryan Naismith. Crucial, crucial match. You're really putting those two out there together? They'll kill each other. Kasky and Naismith are key to our game. Everything goes through them. They'll be feeding balls through to Lee and Curtis up front. Kasky, you're dropping back in the hole. Ryan, you're attacking, so I want you pairing up to send balls up that pitch. You are a partnership, am I clear? Yes, Kefra. Good. Because if we go out there with the right attitude, and the team I've got before me could not only just take on anyone in this division, but anyone in the Premier League. And that's where we're going. Now get out there and earn it! Work things out? Not quite. But you're talking, yeah? I mean, there's a chance. What a welcome back for Ryan Naismith. A hugely emotional afternoon for him and the fans in this very important match. And a huge amount of pressure on these Harchester players to deliver now. Carl Fletcher only a substitute. Ryan Naismith. Carl Kasky, Lee Presley, Curtis Alexander. Can that quartet deliver here? I wonder. Harchester then to get us underway. And immediately the ball is forward with Kasky. Out now to Naismith. Kasky's made a good run into the penalty area. Naismith finds him. Oh, good save by Fyland, but in by Presley. Oh, what a start for Harchester. Inside the opening 20 seconds. It's Lee Presley. What an impact, and Viv Wright, the player manager, must be absolutely delighted. Ryan Naismith's return pays instant dividends. And the England hopeful and the former England international team up quite brilliantly. Coming soon on Dream Team. What are you on? Here he is, the man himself, Carl Fletcher, me, Ian Holloway. Carl, pleasure to meet you. But who are you? Alex Harrison, the man charged with finding Mr. Harchester a new home. Letter? After four years of marriage, you leave me in a letter! <laughs> <laughs>